Well, ladies and gentlemen, fan questions. The questions that the fans want to know. They're all here. Um, is there anything uh, more disgusting than the idea of saying you have fans? Uh, my fans. I don't like the term fans. They're not my fans. They're just people who adore me. That's it. Okay, so. Fan questions. That I received. Uh, the first question is. What is your background, Tony? Well, well I'm, a, I'm a Canadian citizen, but uh, my background is Eastern European. But I actually have also some like Central European and also some Western European in me also. And uh, <clears throat> apparently there's a joke here and it's the joke is would you call someone who has every European nationality in them? And uh, you call them a giant sack of urine. I didn't write that joke, so it doesn't matter. <clears throat> so the second question I got is, what will you do when you finally reach enough subscribers that people stop mocking you for being a 40-year-old with 200 subscribers? It's not a bad question. I like that. Um, well, the truth is, is that I don't really get mocked for that. It's mostly just passive, mild, sort of passive aggressiveness. And uh, <clears throat> let's see if I can do this. Uh, the passive aggressiveness goes like this. It goes... Oh, so, uh, yeah, you still doing that whole YouTube thing, yeah? Gonna try and set the world on fire with your special brand of comedy, yeah? Gonna be a success on YouTube in your 40s, yeah? You're thinking, oh, wow, look at me, so clever. I have a tech review channel. That's not really a tech review channel. And I uh, use it as a disguise to talk about whatever I want. And you think this stuff is deep, but this stuff is stuff that everyone's talked about millions of times before, and it's not original. Yeah, you're gonna keep doing that whole thing? I remember when I first watched that little thing that I just did there on Family Guy, and uh, I remember thinking, oh, that's something special. And yes, for the next two years, everyone did that. So it was indeed special. Someone else asked me here, uh, once you become a YouTube celebrity, will you date another YouTube celebrity? That's actually a pretty good question. Um, well, yeah, obviously I will. That's the whole plan. Um, it's all about getting that. It's all about getting that. I can't say it on YouTube. But yeah, I'll definitely be doing some stuff with... Uh, with a YouTube celebrity. <laughs> oh, oh God. Yep. That's me dating YouTube celebrities. Uh, I got another question here. Would you rather surf on a snowboard or snowboard on a surfboard? Whoever sent that question is an idiot. Thanks for wasting my time. This is what happens when you don't have writing staff and people who go over this shit. Next question, what do you think is the biggest change that will take place in the next hundred years? Uh, well, I would say probably that cell phones will probably be a retro technology and uh, most likely will be communicating using telepathy. 
right? So that's that. Oh, actually, the question was, what do you think the biggest change that will take place in the next 10 years, not 100? I read that wrong. Uh, well, in 10 years, I would say rent prices will get so high that probably you'll need a roommate to live with, uh, obviously, unless you're rich. And if you're rich, they don't call them roommates. They call them... <sighs> YouTube won't let me say it. That's all I can say. You're going to have to use your imagination for the rest. Okay, so next question here is, what is the difference between a digital virtual reality and a real organic universe, and which one would you rather be living in? Uh, I'd like to live in the one where when you watch an Apple event, they don't say this is our best iPhone to date. I didn't write that. What do you use to mix and edit your videos? Uh, a computer mostly. That's that question came from Jenny. Jenny from Pennsylvania. That's uh, she asked me what I use to mix and edit my videos and uh, it's a computer that I use and uh, that actually was my joke that that one was my joke uh, this next question is at age 40 the way you are right now I'm 40 if you can go back in time and give your 20 year old self some some advice well first of all I'd give him advice not to stutter the fucking question that's probably a good one, right? If you can give your 20-year-old some advice, what would you say? Um, I'd probably say, don't worry, young man. It's all going to work out fine. Don't you worry about a thing. I got gotcha. you. And uh, it's called false hope. It's good to give people false hope because uh, it keeps them going. All right. We're having a really good time here. Now, this next question is, do you think aliens have visited Earth? And if so, why haven't they said hello? Well, that's an easy one. They haven't said hello because we are babies in diapers shooting bazookas. They came to help us. You know, and they'd give us all the alien technology. We just use it to blow ourselves up because we're babies in diapers shooting bazookas. That one's really easy, super easy. So this last question here is, what is the worst pickup line you've used to get a girl? Uh, so when I was in college, I asked a girl, hey, do you want to make one of those Girls Gone Wild videos? Um, she said, what do you mean? And I said, yeah, you know, those videos were like you strip and act wild and then I sell the videotape and make money. Uh, and, I, and I told her it's probably not a good idea because then eventually you'll get older, get married, have kids. And then, you know, people will be like, what the hell is this, Cindy? You know, and your husband will get mad at you. And you'll be like, where's this wild Cindy girl now? You know? How come I have like the dried up version of Cindy now that just asked me to take out the trash and clean the kitchen? Where's the sexy wild version of Cindy, right? And even after I said all that, she said, yeah, sounds like a good idea. Yeah, yeah, let's make the Girls Gone Wild video. And I've made the video. And uh, Cindy is now my wife. And uh, that's one hell of a pickup line. I didn't write that last part, the whole thing, I didn't write that. The only thing I wrote out of this whole thing, honestly, the only thing I wrote was, 
the question about uh, what do you use to mix and edit your videos? And I said a computer mostly. That, that was the only one that I actually wrote. The rest, that's basically it. Those are fan questions. And uh, that's, that's all I got. Goodbye.